Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. I want to ask you this, man. I was having. I want. I want to switch gears a little bit. I was having a conversation in the barbershop with, with some guys back home. And this is my opinion. I could be wrong, but I want you to correct me. I say right now, when it comes to artists, all the artists that's in Texas, I'm going to say specifically Houston, I think, and this is my opinion, that Zero probably is one of the, <coughs> it's probably, probably the greatest rapper in Texas right now. And let me repeat that. Hold on, hold on. I think, this is my, this is my, this is my opinion. This is what I okay, ask you okay. because you're a real Houston guy. All right. I think, this is my opinion, that Zero is the greatest rapper in Houston. And let me tell you why. Okay, I'm 30 right now. All right, I've been listening to Zero since I was like 12, 13. The, the consistency, the quality, and the truth. That nigga, for, do, that nigga do got about like 30 albums. You know what I'm saying? And now, I said that. It's crazy. I said that, and them dudes got on me. Scarface this, Scarface that. Oh, I said, oh, they right. I'll just forget on your ass. Yeah. You said, <laughs> no disrespect to Row. Row been one of the hardest niggas. But shit, you can't say that when you got niggas like Faze. Like, niggas set the foundation and paved the way the platform of this shit. Like, yeah. he took all the licks and hits and shit. For the niggas behind him can do the things they did, so shit, I would say face. Like, when you speaking on H Town Royalty, and you know what I'm saying? We talking about this music shit, you gotta get the face. He the head hunter, of no ifs, ands, or buts. Like, yeah. if you don't like it, nigga, we just gonna call a ball a ball, a strike a strike. That's the truth, nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's face. Then all the mother niggas come behind that. All right. Zero right up under that. Yeah. You feel me? And see, I said that, I was like, yo, I think Zero the greatest rapper, and they was on me, just on me. And I was like, and I, I respect Scarface. I like Scarface, but I like. Just I, think I, about I, the mind playing tricks on me came out of the early nineties. Ninety one, I think. Ninety two. Okay, we in two thousand and twenty one. Yeah. That bitch still getting played, still coming on movies, yeah. still. You feel me, like? Yeah. Come on, man. But that was just something I said. I just was saying. I mean, but you ain't say nothing wrong. Yeah. But like, you did say something wrong, but it, but it wasn't wrong. You feel me? But you you put zero catalog. In Scarface catalog. I mean, Scarface started rapping before him, but Zero got way more, more a whole bunch more music. Who got him. more plaques? And that's oh, the thing. Oh, Zero oh. got exactly so Zero got way more music and shit. Who, who, who got more plaques? Who, yeah. who, who, who really? A, a, what you call that shit? A pioneer of this southern hip hop like yeah. Zero a pioneer for what he did with the SUC movement and all this shit. Yeah, man, ain't taking nothing from him, but. I'm gonna give a nigga that flower white here face, man. You gotta yeah. get the face, bro. Straight up, face. That's just my opinion. I was just asking you. Now, look at this too. I was talking. I'm always having conversations right now. You know, we got you guys in Afghanistan. Y'all doing y'all thing as a whole. Um, Money Gang, ENT doing their thing. 1501 doing their thing. You got the Wolfpack guys. They doing their thing. Brick. You know what I'm saying? You got all of these different, you know what I'm saying? TSF. You know what I'm saying? All, these, all you guys is in one city. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that the, the impact that you guys have on the music game is like crazy. Man, I, shit, Houston, I always had an impact on the music game. But I'm saying like, you see like, I'm gonna go back and rap a lot. And then like I say, like 1501, TSL, Wolfpack, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Money game coming up. Yeah. Like, you seeing all this stuff going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about all that when you hear that? About what part? Like, everything. I just know what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Shit, like, you gotta think about it. Houston, I always have been hustlers, my nigga. We can yeah. take it all the way back to SUC, yeah. Swisher High, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's always been units in the city moving, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And we been moving as units, and we always was able to have success with that shit. Mm -hmm. So look, that's the thing that's been going on in Houston mm -hmm. for the longest, so I feel good about it. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like. What a lot of people from Houston don't understand is shit. Houston ain't got no labels now. It's like, we ain't got no majors. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, we got the 1501s, the Rapalites, you know what I'm saying? Now look, you know, independent labels you just named, but shit, we ain't got no labels where we can go walk no tape into or go have no meetings with. We gotta fly for this shit. The other cities, they have the advantage of that. You know what I'm saying? So, the only thing you can do out here music is independently, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Grind for it, that's why, man, it's hustle time. H time to see that the hustle, that's how that's what we have to do our whole life. But right now it's the time for it. You hear all these guys, um, Lil Uzi Vert, 
Um, sometimes well, I think Twenty One Savage said somebody too. But you hear all these guys going on rants about stay independent. They can't drop when they want to drop. They can't do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it'd be the best time to be independent. I mean, it's the best time to be independent, but it's it's all about how far you willing to go to to be successful with this shit because a nigga signed to a label and a nigga that's independent, that nigga that signed to a label gonna have certain advantages and perks mm -hmm. that that nigga that's independent don't have. Mm -hmm. Or this nigga right here that signed to this label might have a $250,000, $100,000 budget for a project. With this independent nigga over here, you probably got, man, I'm, I got $5,000, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be limited amount of shit you can do with this five versus you working with a hundred and fifty thousand dollar budget so at the end of the day it's just like yeah independent is the way to go but if you can get the right deal mm -hmm. the right terminology on that paperwork ain't nothing wrong with signing no deal fuck what a nigga talking about like yeah independence is the route to go but shit everything is stepping stone you're not oh i'm finna sign this deal right now i'm gonna be signing this label for 20 years yeah shit what about a hey, i'm finna sign this label i'm signing this three year whoop and you use that three years turn with, with that label as a stepping stone to do everything you need to do in that time frame and then when you done with that now you got the bag to do everything independent that you want to do and make it look good and make it look how it's supposed to be like niggas gotta start thinking differently like you got nice sign the shit man that's cool because i feel the same way but if the right motherfucking mm -hmm. opportunity presented itself right now i'm finna sign on dotted line right now fuck what a nigga talking about nigga let me show you what i'm finna do you know what i'm saying